you can already see it's pretty similar to the G1000. It's not exactly the same. All right. A little bit different. Yeah. yeah. We call it the uh, Fisher Price G1000. <laughs> just because, just because you know, it's not as like refined, I guess. Yeah. That makes sense. I'm clear from dispatch. So we'll turn on the 430s, telling it yes. Okay. for this to line up? Yeah. All right, well, while we're waiting, this is my instructor, Jacob White. Howdy. He's my instrument instructor, so we're going to do some instrument flying today. Here's your fancy intro. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> All right. YouTube star right here. Yep. All right. So we're ready to move now that the AHARS has finished lining up. The GPS is still getting satellites, so it's good to go now. Listen to ATIS. That ATIS one? Uh, this one. That one. One, zero, clear, below, one, two, thousand, temperature, one, six, Celsius, dew point, three, altimeter, three, zero, two, six, Heart of Georgia Regional Airport. Automated weather observation. One seven two one Zulu weather. Wind calm. Visibility right. one zero. We're gonna head northeast. Northeast. Okay. Yep. Them. I hope that got on camera. <laughs> that was pretty. That was pretty good. I don't know. We're seeing. Okay. Figure out how to eat. No, don't push the button. Just pull the black part. There you go. Makes sense. Okay. The button, the lock. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So let's go ahead and do a brake check. One thing you'll notice about this airplane, I don't know what it is, it has a really tall nose strut. So when it, when it stops flying for a little bit, it will raise back up. So my brakes are good, your brakes are good. Yep. Go ahead and cage the uh, standby right there, pull that. Yep. There you go. All right, cool. All right, your controls. My controls. You have the controls. That you definitely got on video. Yeah. So I guess the second, the, I guess this 430 doesn't sound super good, and we're uh, 107. Okay. Midnight 107 is texting via Bravo Charlie, Bravo Charlie to runway 2. Eastman. There we go. I'm going to open the door a little bit. Sounds good. It's not super cold, but it's still chilly. I'm glad though, it's finally cooling off. It was freezing last night when I was racing, it was awful. It's One of my other students has a video of us, and he like dubbed every music but didn't remove the audio. And he said, that was a good landing, wasn't it? Or I, he said, did I do a good, he said, I did a good job today, didn't I? And I said, I wish I could say the same. <laughs> And you can hear it on his video, and I was like, I'm just kidding, it wasn't that bad. That's funny. It was funny. Okay, they just shut the door, so there won't be any any longer. At least it's not like Avery Riddle, where you have to wait on like 40 airplanes at one time. That's true. Yeah. Right? Yeah, I saw videos of it. Good old ATC memes. Alright. Good job. Eastern traffic, midnight 290 is taking off on way two, departing to the south, to the west. Eastern. Where are we going again? Northeast? We're going to go northeast, yeah. Eastern traffic, midnight 287, taxiing Bravo Charlie 2. I'll draw the map up here, that way we can have some TCAS action. Actually, it's probably better on. Well. Let's do, let's run before takeoff while he's out there. Okay. Before takeoff. Uh, master and ALTs. Alt yep. Uh, fuel pump on. Magnetos on. On fuel. Fuel selector. We're on, on the, the right. On the fullest thing, yeah. Let's 
Engine gauges, we're all good. Carb off. You're set. Yeah, you your seatbelt on. Flaps are set. Trim is set. Rolls free. Alright, we're going to take eight, off. Seven, leave us a little room. We won't need to run up. And then yeah, we got to. we'll stop right here before Alpha. Go to Thank you. northeast. Yep. Uh-uh. Lane lights. Eastman traffic, man. On. Strobes are on. Air conditioning off. Brake, brake release. Doors and windows. All right. Final clear. Let's go. Uh, midnight 283. Go ahead. Eastman traffic, midnight 107. De Department runway 2, departure to the northeast. Eastman. All right, Eastman traffic, midnight 283. Taxi, uh, Eastman school ramp. Taxi in to runway 2 via uh, Barla Charlie. Eastman traffic. There's a little bit of a crosswind from the right. Get that nose down for the VY. Sweet, thanks, Jeremy. Air controls. Air controls. Air goggles. Thank you. Get those put on. All right. All right, your controls. My controls. You have the controls. Let's climb up to 2,500. All right. Actually, no, let's go up to three. Three, okay. Yeah, 3,000. We drive it from A276, turning left cross on our way to... So now that we're on east and we're out here a little bit, um, let's do some clearing turns. Been at 107, left turn heading 360. Left turn 360, been at 107. Usually I'll give you your clearing turns with vectors. Okay. Midnight 107 right turn heading 090. 090, minute 107. MGA traffic, midnight 284 is 15 miles west northwest of field 3000. It's going to be just a speed turn, MGA. MGA 
MGA traffic, but 9107 is 11 and a half miles east of the field, maneuvering 3000 MGA. 500 All right. Let's, uh. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Let's do some slow flight. 3000 feet, 7 and a half miles to the north, going to Athens. See ya! Your MGA flight department would like to thank you for attending. Wow. I'm your narrator, Lieutenant Carson Hawkins. Give me some good on this is gonna be some good video quality. How dare you assume my level of civility? <laughs> I like it when they mess around on dispatch. Yeah. Gene, Gene won't say, like, Gene doesn't get mad at people about that kind of stuff like Lyle does. Sometimes Lyle's like, come on guys, cut it out, or whatever. <laughs> That's funny. Which is fine, I mean, yeah. sometimes, yeah, but... Alright, so 55 knots, 3,000 feet, that's what I want to do. It's colder now, so your power settings and stuff are going to be a little bit different. The air's more dense, right? So yep. the wing makes more lift. Propeller produces more thrust, so your power setting's going to be hair different. And where where you think the controls should be is going to be a little bit different. So keep that in mind, too. All right, midnight 107, left turn heading 360. 360, midnight 107. Good to me. Uh, let's fly north a little bit. So, do you think slow flight is more taxing under the foggles versus not under the foggles? Not really. Not really? It's about no. the same? Yeah. Yeah, you never looked outside to begin with anyway. No, not really. <laughs> yeah, that's like, I never, when I was doing it in my plane, I never looked outside. Yeah, that's why. Alright, let's do a power off stall. You want flaps in? Yeah. Power off. Go. First notch flaps out. Start climbing. Positive right, second notch. Relax the back pressure, let the airplane start to accelerate. But don't level off, you want to stay climbing. Alright, you're at VY, last notch. Okay. Once you get above about 100 knots, you can start easing the power back nice and slow. Okay. Alright, let's do some steep turns. I'll play a game. Ready? Yep. It's a good game. And it will lead us into the next thing we're going to do. Alright, so I don't know where the... There's a timer in the 430, but I don't like that one. So I'm just going to do one on my phone. Alright. So, when I tell you to, when I start the timer, I want you to close your eyes and fly straight and level for as long as you can. Okay. Okay? Sound right. good? All right, ready? Yep. Eyes closed. Okay. And just fly straight and level for as long as you can. You gonna tell me when to open? Yep, I'll tell you when to open them. Okay.
Alright, open your eyes. Notice anything? Yeah, I was. The uh, was it the spiral of death or whatever? Yeah, you start one. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So that's why we don't rely on our ears. So I'll let you go for about a minute. You did good. Uh, you actually started turning to the left first, and then you turned back to the right, and then you held your altitude, and then you, you let it start going down. So usually when you hear the engine speed up, that's a key that you're going down. Yeah. I heard that. And they, yeah, you heard it, but I don't think you did anything about it. No. So, let's turn back west. Okay. Alright, your controls. My controls. Got it. Okay, my controls. Your controls. I have controls. My controls. Got it. Okay, not bad. Um, you're only doing half of it. You're only doing half? What do you mean? You're only doing half. You gotta adjust the power too. Oh, okay. Right? So low yeah. airspeed, full power, right? Okay. The so one I did with like half throttle, like 2100 RPM, and you leveled out fine, but you never put the power back forward, so it never really accelerated. Right. The other one, if you're really fast, you got to pull the power back, right? Yep. So, that's what I mean by you're only doing half of it. Makes sense. You're fine getting the nose level, but you got to add the power or subtract the power too, okay? Yeah. I don't know if your last instructor did it that way, but that's, that's what we're supposed to do now. All right. All right, let's, uh... Nope, oh, wrong way. I want to go directly to the station. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So set your course to go directly to the station. There you go. West point by, uh, now that's a cop out. You know you got to turn it until it lines up, but you can't do that. You just click it, it will always center and go directly to the station. Yep. Okay? So we're following this, right? Yes. How do we know it's working? Gotta go to... That's marker mute. Yeah. Uh, You're on the right well. track. One more step. Uh. Let me just beat you up. Throw an elbow in the cockpit. Yep. Click Push. it. There you go. There we go. Now it should play. Give it a little bit. Traffic, midnight 290, 12 miles to the north to west. That's right. Yep. That's right. So, since you already know we are going to do the VOR, yeah. So, we got a ways to go until we get to Vienna, right? Yeah. Probably believe makes sense to go ahead and start briefing the plate. Okay. What's the acronym again? T. Martha NC. Martha NC. Look that up. Um, M. Missed approach. Okay, missed approach. Uh, if we missed approach, climb, uh, climbing left turn to 2100. And then we'll go to the Vienna VOR. Uh huh. A. Altitude. Atus. Oh, Atis.
Eastman, part of Georgia Regional Airport. Automated weather observation. One, seven, five, niner. Zulu, weather, wind, two, eight, zero, at three. Visibility, one, zero, clear, below, one, two, thousand. Temperature, one, seven, Celsius, two point, three. Altimeter, three, zero, two, three. Eastman, part of Georgia Regional Airport. Autom All right. Martha. M A. T R. Oh, R. Duh. R is radios. All radios. Which I guess Connor. we have set up because we have the VOR. Yeah. yeah. Okay. T. I'm. Is there a times? There's not a time thing on there. No, there's not. So no time. Okay. What's H? Eight? Heading? Yep. Good ahead. Good. So I guess heading is going to be 089? Yeah, bailed, yeah. For the final. Yep. A. Enterprise carry 233, November Chalice, 12 northwest of Newton. Um, Simulated heading altitude. 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 Yeah, heading altitude. Heading in altitude 2100. Yep. Until when? Until. Apue VNA? Sitco. It, what? Sitco. Then between Sitco and Apule, it's 2000. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so then that's when you go down to 22,000. Right. And then go all the way down. Once you hit Minco, you can go all the way down to Air minimum eight or seven sixty. Right. Does this have a thing of Uh, what is it called? What? Minimums? No. No. Okay. <laughs> oh, sorry. You could do a smart thing and set your altitude bug up for your minimums. Where are we go? Right here. Nope, that one. Click it twice. Yeah. No, not. Don't click the knob. Click the button. There you go. Yes. Now there's two other things to bar the NC. NC. Oh. <clears throat> What's in? Nav. Nope. Close. Remember the R takes care of all your radios, right? Yep. Nav included. Yep. So... Notes. Uh, when local altimeter is not received, use Dublin, and then you're at 60 feet. Do we have a local altimeter setting? Yes, we do. Okay. That so does matter. that apply? No. Nope. What do you think C is? Clearance. Yes. Are you cleared for the approach yet? No. Okay, so we're still waiting on that. Now look at the plate, figure out, you're going to the Vienna VOR right now, what kind of entry are we going to use? Oh gosh, um... Teardrop? Yes. Oh. Exactly. You're set up perfect for it, right? Yeah. VOR cross, fly it for a minute. Yep. Okay. You know, and I'm slow. This, you yeah, know, the stop rear should be called slow top rear. That, that yeah. thing is not maneuverable. Yeah. Especially not when it's already slowed down for landing. How much horsepower is it? I think it's like 110 or 125. Yeah. Oh. It's small like your tri pacer is. That's smaller than my tri pacer. What's your tri pacer, man? 135. Oh. Yeah. That's around the same. What? I said it's kind of around the same power. Yeah. All right, Ben. One zero seven. Send to maintain two thousand one hundred. You're cleared for the VOR approach into Eastman. Send to maintain two thousand one hundred. Clear for the VOR approach into Eastman. Midnight one zero seven. Eastman traffic. Midnight. 107 is three miles west of the field inbound VOR DME Alpha Circle Line Runway 2286. Got you in sight. 
Alright, uh, we're about to enter a left downwind right now. You guys gonna be good? Yeah, I'm in front of you. I got you in sight. We're gonna circle land runway two. Keep it tight. Alright, sounds good. Alright, add a little bit of power. Alright, one mile from the airport. Right turn. Fog is off. Hey, what you doing? Eastman traffic, midnight 107, a low left downwind, circle land, runway 2, Eastman. Eastman traffic, midnight 24, clear runway 2 at Echo, taxi back to parking via Echo Bravo, Eastman. You don't want to climb. Sorry, okay, we're, I'm we're, used to it. I know. <laughs> Remember, we're inside this protected area, right? So it's okay for us to be down this low inside this protected area. But you do want to fly it with a little bit of power because you don't want to get slow. Eastman traffic, midnight 107 is short final runway 2, full stop, Eastman. I'm just going to help you guide you in a little bit. There you go. Alright, everything's good. Eastman traffic, midnight 206, turn to left on. Add a little bit of power. A little bit to the right here. Get over here to center line. Pull that power back, keep the nose down. Just for it, there you go. Alright. Alright, flaps up. Flaps up. Yep. Bring it on the brakes. Alright, let's get off here on Echo. First landing on the first one that I did in the Archer. Yeah. Eastman traffic, midnight, 107. Clear the runway at Echo, taxi, Echo, Bravo, school ramp, Eastman. Alright, Eastman traffic, midnight, 286, final power off 180. Yep. Grab checklist. Burn after landing. Is that a chart right there? That is. My kind, see? Your kind. If I go fly that, then it'll, I could grease it on compared yeah. to this. Yeah. Sorry. 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 Every time. I think I've flown formation with that one, honestly. Really? Yeah. He was at Peach State one day. For, uh, what was it, flying or something like that? Yeah. If you ever come up to noon, I'll take you up in the tri sir. Alright. Let you land it and then I'll be your CFI. Yeah. Why don't you slam it on there? I won't slam it. Oh, okay. I don't slam anything anymore, bud. Okay. We'll make you park in between two airplanes. Be. Don't hit anything. Good. Alright, ready, minister off. 